Hey there, Lickin' Riffers. Welcome to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And this time you're in for a real treat because we're gonna learn the classic song Tomorrow from Annie. First, I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down step by step, chord by chord, note by note, with tabs right here on the screen. It goes like this, enjoy. So whenever you're ready, put on a C chord and play strings 4, 5, 4, 3, 2. And the pause there was intentional. Okay? You play the E note first and then you play the arpeggio. Then you play the E string. Then you play 3 and 2 on strings 2 and 5. Okay? You can play the whole set of chords, strings 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay, this is G over B. And then you play one on the second string. So, and again, make it expressive. And then you play an F major 7 chord. Okay, you can play the E string again before that. Okay, so it's 0, 1, 2, 3 on strings 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, and then you have 3, 1, 0 on the second string, 2 on the third. Okay? And then 3, 0 on the 2nd string, and when you play the open 2nd string, you can play an E minor chord with it, or just the E bass, the low 6th string. So, okay? you can put on the E minor and play it with this uh, open 2nd string. So it's F major 7, and then okay? 3, 1, 0 on the 2nd, 2 on the 3rd, 3 on the 2nd, and then the open 2nd string with E minor. And then the open third string. Then you put on an A minor chord and you play strings four and five, and then uh, one on the second string. Okay. Now again, you want it to be very very expressive, so you can even slide into two on the fourth string if you wanna. So. you have A minor over G. So you can just play uh, the G bass, three on the sixth string, or you can play A minor with G. You can, um, okay, you can arpeggiate with G on the sixth string. This is A minor seven, just with the minor seven on the bass. So, and then three on the second string, open E string, and then you have F. Now you bar the F, okay, you uh, put on the bar on the first fret and uh, the E shaped chord, okay, the bar F. And uh, the first time around, you play the fourth string as your low note with the bass, with the sixth string. 
Okay, you can play strings four, five, and six. Okay, so it's. Okay, this is the first ending. And then you start by playing this. Okay, so it's almost the same as the uh, first time you played the C chord. But you're playing the F note again, three on the fourth. Then you put on the C chord and you hammer on the two on the fourth string. Okay, now instead of playing a country double stop, I play it right after the other. Okay, one right after the other. As a, as a, it's called a phlegm in music. Okay, when you play them almost together. Okay, so that's what I do. I play the three on the fifth with the hammer on on the two on the fourth, almost together. Okay, one after the other. Ta -da. Okay, so you have to practice that. And then you play everything again. G over B, F major 7, E minor, A minor, over G, and then 3 on the 2nd open E, and then F with the high E string on 1. Okay? And you can just play the whole chord, just arpeggiate it, play uh, lavish ornamental ending to the verse. So that's the verse. And then uh, you have this. Okay, the open third string three times. One three on the second string. And then immediately you put on C minor. Okay, bar on three A minor shape and you play uh, the whole chord. Okay, strings two to five. Four on the second string, that's your note there. Um, you have just a little bit of time to arpeggiate and then you have the five on the third string which is in the chord okay it's in the chord five on the third and then you have this four and one on strings two and five just a little bit of a stretch and then you play the open fourth open third and then one on the second string and immediately you bar the fourth fret for G uh, for G, um, G sharp, okay? So, um, okay, you play strings two, three, four, and six. You slide the two frets up to uh, A sharp or B flat. And you pick it again, strings two, three, four, and six. Okay, so once again, okay, that's the line. Then you have of this chord, the B flat chord. Strings four, 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 three, two. And then D sharp or E flat. Okay, bar on uh, six, A shape. So you can double bar it. Play strings two, three, four, and five. Okay, on eight, 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 and six. And then the eight on the third string. And then you have to put on D uh, sharp major seven. So it's eight, seven, eight and six on the fifth string. And then you just lay your finger down for eight on the third uh, string again. And then you have this. Okay, G sus to G. So you put on a G chord with one on the second string. You play it lavishly. Okay, I'm playing the chord and I play an arpeggio of strings three, two, one, and then I open the second string. Okay, and then you have the verse again. So let's just recap what's going on here. Okay, C minor. Okay, this is G minor over B flat. And then D sharp. D sharp major seven. And then G sus. You have the verse again. You can hammer on. Ah, I put the minor. And then you play three on the second string and the open E string, but instead of playing F, you play this. Right? 
you put the bar on one, on strings one, two, and three, and play three and four on strings four and five. This is C sharp major seven. Okay. What a beautiful, beautiful harmonic change there. This is so great. This is a hallmark of, uh, of Broadway musicals where you change this into this. This is terrific. This is a great substitution. Um, so, um, okay, you play it lavishly, however you want to play it, very expressively, try to feel the chord, and then you play a G chord. You're back to the G chord. I start by playing the open second string, okay? And then I play the G chord. Because that's a motif, that's what we did with the G sus. Okay, so I do the, okay, the same move, but with two chords. So, that's uh, the ending here for the second, uh, for the second uh, verse. Now the chorus. This is probably the most uh, challenging part. Okay, now um, the first thing you have to know here is to play this. Okay. Um, open first and third strings. Then you put the third and fourth fingers on five on strings one and three. Then you put fingers three and four okay, on three and four on strings one and three. Okay, so it's, okay, on strings one and three, it's zero, five, and three and four. You need the four finger free, okay, because you're gonna play a bass line. So, um, with the first five, you play three on the fifth. Okay, and then you move it. Now, you might ask, I can bar it, so I can just play um, four on the third string and play the three that's already in the bar. That's right. But you can do that the next two chords. So you can do this the first time using the bar, but the second time you have to do it because you have the B bass, two on the fifth instead of three. So you can not bar and use your two fingers and then do the same thing okay, with two. Then you have one on the fifth string, the B flat. So it's a bit of a stretch. Okay, so hey, even I can't hold it right now. Kind of have to be in the moment to pull it off. And then you have this. This time it's F, it's one on the sixth string, and it's uh, zero, and then three and three. Okay? And then one and one, just the bar on strings one and three. Now you can add, okay? you can add a Tommy Emmanuelism, okay? three slide to four slide to three there. Okay? If you like. And then you have two endings. Um, sorry, not yet. Uh, you have three on the second string, then you have a C chord with one zero on the E string, one on the B string. And then you have, uh, sorry, okay, you have a G7 chord. You have the open third string with three and three on strings four and six. So, um, okay. you can just play the open third string and then the G7. Then you have two endings. The first ending is three on the second string and then C with one. Then you play the whole thing again. Ah. If you want. And then. And then the second ending. harmonic there if you want. So it's three on the E string and then C with three on the E string. Again, very expressively and you can add 
the harmonic. Okay, just extend your finger, um, touch the, the uh, string, the E string, above the 15th fret because it's 12 frets above the 3, and pick it with the third finger or the little finger. So. And then you get D harmonic. And that's uh, your arrangement for tomorrow. So before you go download the tab, which is free, the link is below in the description, subscribe to the channel. I don't see a reason why not. There's hundreds of lessons here, literally, and it's all for free. So go download the tab, which is also for free. But if you want to give something back anyway, there's a donation button on the website or in the description, a Patreon link. So um, whatever you choose to give back to Lick and Riff goes right back into Lick and Riff, into your guitar education. And I'm grateful for any donation whatsoever, for any support. And I thank you in advance for your generosity. So in the meantime, you go practice this and I'll see you the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.